we are going to Miami. It's like really late or really early in the morning and you're trying everything you can to be quiet but that just makes you louder like somehow the footsteps are louder somehow you start knocking things over somehow the refrigerator door is the loudest thing you've ever freaking used in your entire life that's how i'm feeling right now even my voice is loud for no reason and i'm like trying to like tip toe it's currently 2 15 a.m my flight departs at 5.51, so I'm about to order my Uber and I've never been to Miami. I actually haven't ever been to Florida. It's one of the few states I haven't been to in the US, so I'm very, very, very excited. I have everything packed. I wanna show you the outfit. Let's do this. So we made it to LAX, we made it through security. I got here really early, surprisingly, and then security was also really fun. There's something about airlines where they just treat you like you are a criminal, which like I get that it's their job, but it's like, it's just a lot, it's just a lot. I need something for breakfast, so let's hope that I can find something for breakfast. Okay, let's do a haul. Water. Cookies and egg salad because I need to eat something. These three items, $25. Mm-hmm. All right, besties, so we made it to Houston. I got lunch. I've been really hungry today. We got this thing called a BLTA and I added mayo to it, so let's try it. So it's bacon, lettuce, tomato, avocado, mayo on multi-grain bread. It tastes like you would expect it to taste, but the bread is nice and warm and toasted, so this is getting an eight out of 10 for me because it's giving comfort and it's fulfilling my needs of hunger. Cheers. And we made it to Fort Lauderdale. We're heading to baggage claim to pick up my bag and then I'm going to order my Uber to head to Miami. Next time you see me, we'll be in Miami. All right, besties, we made it to the Airbnb. It would not be a stay if you didn't show the room tour. I am not gonna lie though, it was much cuter online. The pictures that they chose to put on the Airbnb website, so much cuter, but it's okay. The first thing you notice is Marilyn Monroe, obviously. We have two beds. Not that I need two beds, but I have two beds just for fun. We have a TV. Cute little table set up here. And that's the tour. I think now I'm going to like change, take a little bit of a nap. I tried to sleep on the plane. I got like little bits of sleep on the plane, but not like enough sleep. So I'm gonna try to sleep. There's a lot of honking and a lot of like traffic in the place that I'm staying, but it should be fine. I live in Los Angeles. I'm like used to it, you know? So let's try to take a nap. Okay, so I didn't end up taking a nap and my mood absolutely fucking sucks. I mean, it sucks that it's like that on like my first night here, but it's okay, it's whatever. I'm going to get food. I ordered pizza and it's within walking distance. So we're gonna walk to that. Here's the outfit that I put on. I have a tank top under underneath. We have these black jeans, white shoes, and a little bag as well, just to carry all of my stuff with me. I don't know, I don't think I've slept enough, I don't think I've eaten enough, but I'm doing the best I can. I also think we're gonna go to Publix, which is like a grocery store. I've never been to Publix, and I need to make sure that I pick up some things so I have like some stuff for the morning. So yeah, we'll do that too, after we eat. Um, okay, so Argentina just won the semi-final game for their World Cup appearance, so they're in the final of the World Cup. So everybody's like celebrating here, a lot of people in Argentina jerseys, people are drunk. All I wanted was some pizza. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. And a buffalo chicken pizza. And we don't have any of the sauces, so I'm gonna have to pick that up at Publix. Love this for us, but let's try the pizza. I'm just really in a shitty mood. This is two pieces in one, here we go. 
<laughs> it slaps. I don't know if I'm just hungry and hangry and pissed off. The cheese is really cheesy. The pizza like folds in like the New York style. Very yummy. 10 out of 10, honestly. It's like really, really good. Guys, no fucking way. I found it. Why is it here, but not in LA? Make that make sense. I can't even count on one hand the amount of dirty looks I've gotten, and I'm assuming it's because of the bag. Like, I, I am pretty gay right now, but like not as gay as I could be. I just think people are really drunk, and people keep like running into me and not saying excuse me, and these girls kept running into me, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm really close to snapping on someone, but I'm gonna try not to, because we can't get arrested in Miami. We can't do that. All right, so somehow we survived that walk to Publix. I avoided the whole part of town that is screaming for Argentina again. Love that for them, so excited, but I did not know that was going on. I did not know that was happening. Very overwhelming. And of course the pizza place that I went to is literally on the corner of where they're doing this big celebration. Anyway, let's do a Publix haul since I survived. I like Publix. It's just a basic grocery store though. It kind of gives like tops. If any of you know like tops, but also like very Walmart. Uh, we got two Evian waters because they were two for $5.19 and I need water. We got alcohol, which we're gonna drink together on camera. I'm gonna bust one of these open or multiple of them open for us because the only way I could survive Miami is by drinking. So this is absolutely not a place I will live. Definitely like a party city, cool. We have a Heineken beer. I don't really think I like Heineken, but I wanted like a Bud Light Lime or like a Michelob Ultra Lime and they didn't have that in the cans in public, so it is what it is. I got this Baja Blast, hard Baja Blast. It only has 5% and I've been really wanting to try this, so let's do it together. No, this is yummy. It tastes just like Baja Blast Mountain Dew and it has alcohol in it. That's delicious. And then I also got my favorite wine, Cupcake Moscato. And this one, you just twist the cap off so I don't have to worry about like a cork or anything because I don't have a cork screw and I don't have a bottle opener. Actually, I might have a bottle opener on my keys, but it, it doesn't matter. This is the plant powered ranch that I couldn't find anywhere. We got this aloe water, pineapple aloe water. I saw these. These are called Beyond Churros, coconut flavored. It says it's a crunchy outside, chocolate flavored filling inside, and I love churros. And they're plant-based and they're now multi-grain, so I'm excited for this for a little snack. These are wee yogurts, just so I have something for breakfast in the morning. And I got little mini spoons to go with it. How cute, the little mini spoons in this. I got an applesauce. This one's strawberry kiwi. So I guess I got a strawberry kiwi sauce. It has apple in it too, and kale. Also for the breakfast, also for the AM. One red delicious apple. Cheers. And that was our Publix haul. Now I'm gonna go eat the rest of my pizza, drink a little bit, and probably watch some TV. Let's hope tomorrow's a better day. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning vlog. It's a brand new day, which means it's a brand new mood. If I'm being honest with you, I really feel like I just didn't eat enough and get enough sleep yesterday. But I also have a cancer moon which makes me very moody. It's currently like 9.45 a.m. I'm up, we're putting on sunscreen, and we're gonna walk over to North Beach because it's like a five minute walk. And I haven't been to the beach in about a month. I didn't get to go to the beaches in LA before I left because it was like 40 degrees most mornings and I was like not going to the beach around 40, 50 degrees, you know what I'm saying? So it's not cold here pretty warm. It's in like the 70s, 80s, which is really nice. So we're going to go enjoy the Sunshine State and I'm going to go spend at least an hour at the beach probably. I'll take you with me, show you what it looks like. We're currently applying sunscreen. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch SPF 30. So we're going to put this on. I'm going to eat this little applesauce and we're going to head over there. And then I'm going to come back, shower, do my makeup and we're meeting a subscriber from my Virgo channel for lunch and I think I'm meeting her and her wife and we're gonna head over to Wynwood which is this part of Miami that's like really artsy and really pretty so we're gonna head over there and go to this place called Love Life Cafe but I'll take you there as well I just wanted to touch in with you let you know I'm still alive let you know I'm feeling a little bit better the mood has subsided I think I just needed to sleep 
But yeah, let me finish putting on my sunscreen and let's go to the beach. Also, facial sunscreen. Lock Star Invisible Daily Sunscreen, also for the SPF. I try to do this every day, but I'm not perfect, you know, I'm a human being. But facial sunscreen is also super important, so. Alright, besties, let's freaking go! So we made it to North Beach. I already like the sand here a lot better. It does not feel like the sand in Los Angeles. There's something about the sand in LA where it just like sticks to you and you can't get rid of it. But like the sand here just kind of like washes off of you, which I find to be very interesting. But yeah, we made it to North Beach. So now I'm going to tan, hang out, and chill. Also meet with the ocean. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for supporting me and supporting the channel because without you, I wouldn't have been able to talk to you. I was thinking about this on the walk over here about how people just like ignore me, pretend that I'm invisible and like give me rude looks constantly. So I just want to say I'm thankful for you. Thanks for being my friend and thanks for allowing me the space to create content like this. That way I'm not alone, even when I am alone. Thank you. I love you. All right, besties, we're leaving the beach. And I was trying to record that last clip for you of me like walking out. And as soon as I went to open my camera, this really tan, skinny man with like perfect abs and a Speedo just pops up out of like the bushes. And I was like, okay, that sounds like Miami. That really has like summed up Miami for me. It's just a bunch of like hot people in Speedos and just hot people. It's kind of making me insecure about my body image, to be honest. So I have this goal for 2023 where I'm just going to be so hot. And I'm going to have the best body that everybody's going to want me, but nobody can have me. It sounds kind of toxic, but yeah. I just want to get really hot in 2023. Like so hot that I don't have to deal with my own insecurity when it comes to like my body image and my appearance. And I know that like everyone deals with this and I know that it's like not real. This whole idea of like, body image and appearance mattering because it doesn't we're all beautiful as we are and like our bodies are perfect just the way that they are but like I am so sick and tired of the gay men just sick and tired of the gay men and men in general I think because they only seem to care about like physical appearance and I'm over it what's up besties we made it back from the beach I went ahead and took a little bit of a shower I shaved my face we're starting to get the makeup on I only have like primer, foundation, concealer, and setting powder on right now. I'm trying to do like a little bit of a light makeup. The makeup is not makeuping the way that I'm used to. Like the humidity and the heat here is different. So as soon as I put my foundation on it, just like <laughs> to my face. So I'm trying to do my makeup a little bit differently and also like not overdo it. I just want to look cute, but not like full glam. We're struggling, but I feel like the skin looks okay. Looks okay. We'll see what it looks like when we're done. I've been doing it in this mirror because, well, oh, this one did have a bunch of steam on it. Okay, body, body, oddy, oddy. I'm trying to like learn how to love my body. So if you see my body in camera like this, deal with it, love you. But yeah, this had a bunch of steam on it. So I've been doing my makeup in this little mirror over here. It looks better than I thought. But the real reason I turned the camera on was because we're gonna crack open a cold one with the boys, with the girls, with the trans, with the besties who support me. Let's crack this open. I'm not driving. There's going to be an Uber involved and um, I didn't drink this last night, so. Ah, ASMR. Cheers, let's get it. I actually do kind of like beer. Judge me if you want, but I actually do kind of like beer. All right, let's finish this makeup and I'll show you what it looks like and I'll show you the fit before we go. I'm really exposing myself this trip. You're getting all sides of me. Hope you like it. Okay, makeup is complete. I feel cute. Again though, the makeup like was not sitting the way that I'm used to, so I had to do my makeup a little bit differently today and that's okay. I feel like it turned out cute. I'm trying to figure out the outfit. I don't think it's gonna be this, but you can help me. We can go through what looks the best together. So this is what the first outfit was looking like. We have these blue jeans, which I'm committed to the blue jeans today. And then we have the white tank top, which I think I'm also going to keep just because it's a simple, it's a staple. I put on this green vest just to see, and I like this outfit, but I don't feel like this is the outfit for the vibe today. I don't feel like this is the look. So let's try another one. Okay, so we also have this 
purple lavender jacket. But I have to keep like the cream bag because it's the only bag that I brought and my pants do not have pockets. So like this is, I have to basically form the outfit around the bag. And I didn't want to wear black pants because I feel like black and brown just are not working for me right now. This is cute, but you see how it like rises up at the mid section here? So like if I wasn't wearing the tank top, I guess it would be cute because you can get some like mid drift, a little belly action, but I don't think this is the look either. Okay, so I think that this is actually the look. This is what I was planning for originally just because I brought this with me. I was just trying not to wear like long sleeves because it's like 80 degrees out here, but this is pretty like flimsy material, so I don't feel like it'd be that bad. Plus I have the tank top on underneath. So this I think is what we're going for. I also changed up the jewelry a little bit. So we have the green evil eye necklace. I have a malachite bracelet and a chakra bracelet on my left wrist. And then on the right wrist, we have a tiger's eye and carnelian. And then the bag, of course. I can't decide if I want the straps on the bag because like, it's cute like this, right? But if I'm walking, I don't know. I think I will take the strap off actually. And then the shoes, just a little white shoe. It's not so white anymore, but yeah, that's the outfit. I feel cute. I feel like this is the fit. This is the vibe. Thanks for helping. Love you. Honestly though, this lighting is stunning. So beautiful. I'm sorry I'm like staring at myself because I feel really pretty today and I needed this. Like I really needed to feel cute today because yesterday, you all saw the footage, it was a train wreck and I wanted to go home. <laughs> like I was ready to go to Oklahoma and see my puppies and see my family and just get the F out of here. But I feel better today and the makeup definitely helped and the fit is looking cute. So I'm ready to have a good rest of the day. Let's go to Wynwood. Let's go order this Uber. Let's have lunch. I wanted to show you that I found some seashells at the beach, which I don't really find seashells or anything like that at my beaches. I usually find like feathers, but I found seashells and I'm very connected to Aphrodite. That's one of the guides that I like work with and talk to and pray to and ask for more beauty and so on and so forth. So I wanted to show you the seashells that I got real quick. We have this one, really cute, really pretty. We have this one. And now there's a bird outside, which is also Aphrodite giving Aphrodite. You see, she came the freak through. That bird just like popped up as soon as I started talking about the seashells. Okay, so this one, really cute. This is the first one I found that actually got me to start collecting the seashells while I was at the seashore. <laughs> Sally sells seashells by the seashore, per. And then this one, I really like the shape of this one. Sorry if you can't really like see it, see it, but I really like this one. And then I got two that looked like this. This was pretty common. There was like a bunch of these at the beach, but those are the seashells. I collected five of them. The number five seems to be following me right now, so I'm gonna throw those in my purse, but I wanted to put them in the bag after I showed you, so I got to show you first. Let's go to Wynwood. Let's go get some lunch. Hi, Juan. Okay, so we just got dropped off by my Uber. My Uber's name was Juan, he was fantastic. I got to speak to him in Spanish, it was so nice. I only know a little bit of Spanish. Hablo Espanol poquito, pero it was nice, it was fun. Um, and Miami's gorgeous. There's literally so much artwork all over Miami, it's stunning. So actually my Uber dropped me off at the wrong location. It turns out that Love Life Cafe has moved. In order to avoid a 30 minute walk, Vanessa's going to come pick me up. Bless her heart, bless her soul. Thank you, Vanessa, love you. So I'm just currently sitting here, waiting to be picked up to be taken over to Love Life Cafe. besties we just finished lunch at love life cafe it was fantastic 10 out of 10 from me honestly if you're in the miami area i do recommend checking it out don't go to the old location go to the actual location though don't get lost but shout out to vanessa for coming through for saving me
All right, besties, and we're back to the hotel. I had the most fun with Vanessa ever. Loved meeting her. That was the best day. We spent like all day together. We went to the cafe. We walked around Wynwood. I got to see the Wynwood walls. And then we drove around a little bit more of like South Beach and she showed me some spots because she's actually from Miami. So she was like my little tour guide today. And then we went to this place called Prima Pasta, Cafe Prima Pasta. So I got some tiramisu as a little dessert and I'm going to crack open the cupcake Moscato from last night. We're gonna have a little dessert wine with our little dessert and I'm just gonna chill and probably go to sleep and then we'll start tomorrow over. Today was a complete 180 from whatever happened yesterday. So I'm so glad that today happened. I have something really fun and special planned for tomorrow that I have been keeping a secret from you, but you'll find out tomorrow. It's crazy. You're not even gonna be able to guess what it is. Like try right now in the comments. I want you to go into the comment section and try to guess what it is that I'm doing tomorrow. Be prepared to be shocked because it's nothing you ever would have expected. I promise, but it's gonna be so fun and so exciting. So that's it for me for tonight. I'm gonna sign off, go chill. I'll see you in the morning when we're heading to the beach. All right? Yeah.